weirdly enough, we will never run out of fresh water. And I think that surprises a lot of people because you think of fresh water as being this very kind of precious commodity. But from work that's been done over the last couple of years, the amount of fresh water globally has actually increased compared to the amount that's been lost. So in terms of quantity, we will not run out of fresh water. We do have these concepts called planned boundaries, which suggest that a global use of fresh water, but that doesn't really make sense because the problem with fresh water is that it's so unevenly distributed around the world that some places are rich in the resource and they'll never run out, whereas other places the resource is very limited and that is where the problems can arise. And so instead of having a, a, a planned boundary, what's probably a better way to think about it is to have a, a regional boundary um, or to think about uh, fresh water in, um, in terms of environmental water flows. So we should be looking at fresh waters in, in the unit of, say, the catchment, and that is the lake and all the rivers that flow into it. If we take out more water than flows through a river, in a month, then that is going to pose, pose problems for freshwater security. If you take out a lot of water that flows for many months from a river going in the lake, then that is clearly very problematic. And in that situation, then we will see an example of when fresh water becomes limiting, and that's when we have to take care. And there's some very good examples of that around the world, such as the RLC in Uzbekistan, Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan, but also Lake Urmia as well in Iran, which is following a similar type of fate where 40,000 illegal wells are extracting water faster than it can flow into the lake.